In order to properly soundproof a wall, we need to understand a little bit more about sound and how soundproofing works. This is going to help you pick the right solution for your home, your needs and your budget. So firstly, there are two different types of noise. We have airborne noise and impact noise. Airborne noise, as the sound suggests, uses the medium of air to travel through, and this is detectable as an audible sensation, such as music or people talking. Impact noise, which can also be known as structure-borne noise, instead uses this structure to travel through, and this is a detectable sensation. It's vibrations that literally travel through the materials of your building. So impact noise could be somebody walking upstairs, the footsteps travel through the material of the building, and then are radiated into the room downstairs where you will hear it as a low thud. It's worth noting here that not all sounds are created equal. So bass noises require a greater amount of energy to be created. The sound waves carry this extra energy, and so they're harder to stop than noises such as ordinary conversation. One last thing to mention here is that you could also be experiencing flanking transmission. We have a more detailed video about flanking transmission which is linked below for you. But in short, flanking transmission can be impact or airborne noise, and instead of coming through the most obvious means, which might be the wall, it could actually be coming through your ceiling or your floor. This could be due to things like a hole for lighting or piping that travels between the two rooms and creates a connection. So, now that we know a little bit more about sound, how do we go about stopping it? As you may expect, we have different methods for different noises. Our pre-designed systems are able to tackle a variety of sounds, whereas individual materials might only be effective against certain frequencies of airborne or impact noise by themselves. To combat airborne noise, so things like music, we look to incorporate materials that can reflect the sound wave. We do this by insulating the room with high mass materials. This is because a material that has a high mass is harder to make vibrate. So those sound waves that don't carry as much energy as noises like bass aren't able to move through it and make the material vibrate. Instead, they are reflected off. Materials that are able to reflect sound include things like mass-loaded vinyl, acoustic plasterboard, and here at iAcoustic we have a range of mute boards. These are various materials which are faced with acoustic plasterboard. We use a variety of materials because different levels of mass are better suited to reflect different frequencies of sound. By covering a wider range of frequencies, your space is made quieter. While materials of high mass are able to reflect airborne noise, if you are struggling with impact noise, you're going to need a different material to help you with this. And often, the material that we'll use to combat impact noise will be acoustic absorption. This is usually in the form of mineral wool, which is considered to have acoustic properties anything above 45 kilograms per meter cubed. Acoustic mineral wool is able to absorb the noise and will reduce the amount of sound that you're going to be experiencing. It's often installed in between joists and will reduce reverberation inside your wall. Mineral wool goes even further and will actually help to suck vibrations out of surfaces that it's in contact with, such as the existing brick wall. However, how do we go about stopping these vibrations ever entering the structure in the first place? To truly tackle impact noise, we're going to need to decouple structures, which simply means we're going to reduce the amount of points at which different structures have contact with each other. For example, if you have an existing brick wall and as part of your soundproofing solution, you're going to erect an independent stud frame in front of it, we would rest the stud frame on isolation strips. These isolation strips are then the first point of contact if sound is to travel through the adjacent walls ceiling or floor that the timber stud frame is supported by. Our best method for isolation comes in the form of the mute clip and channel. This is a tiny yet powerful piece of technology which is able to support the heavy layers of soundproofing panelling that you'll add without the metal components of the clip and channel ever coming into direct contact with your existing wall. The mute clip is a metal clip that is surrounded by dual density silicone. The fact that we have two different densities of silicone in our clip allows it to resist a wider frequency of sound and makes your space that little bit quieter. The mute clipping channel is easy to install and can be added directly to a brick wall or to a timber stud frame. Using all or a variety of these materials, you're going to be able to effectively soundproof your wall. As you've seen, there are different materials for different types of noise, 
so it's well worth checking which type of noise you're experiencing and where it's coming from before you start your soundproofing project. We have more videos linked below to help you do this. We also have a selection of blog posts as well as our technical support team who are on hand here at IQ Stick Monday to Friday.